fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i don't take you for granted guys god bless you if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends are you someone who always pray to god to give you a man who will love you for who you are a man who will be perfect for you <laughs> not a perfect man because that perfect man does not exist but a man who will suit you because we were created differently the things that you can tolerate in a relationship not everyone can tolerate them so when you pray to god you tell him god give me this kind of a man a man who will love me for who i am a man who won't judge me <laughs> you always pray to god for that if the answer is yes, then today's video is going to be a story time. <laughs> yes, guys, we have a very beautiful online dating success story of a lady from Kenya by the name of Tanya, 26 years of age, who found love on online dating apps with a German guy. But what is more interesting about this story, guys, a guy that Tanya found on online dating apps is just perfect for Tanya perfect in her situation this story is going to make you so so emotional you will enjoy it trust me dear beautiful ladies especially you who are on online dating apps searching for the one you are going to be inspired guys but guys not only inspire you if you know you are dating a man who is much older than you or men who are much older than you have been approaching you on online dating apps and you don't know how to go about it then watch this story because tanya and this german guy his name is clewin <laughs> they've got a very huge age gap guys actually this is the second story i am sharing in my channel of a couple who have got a very big age gap and guys the reason why i came to know tanya it's because of that <laughs> she came to me to ask for an advice because she was dating clewin who is much older than her and she wanted some advice from me so the advice that i gave her and she kept her relationship right now she's so happy over the moon i'm going to give you the same same advice which will help you a lot to add on that guys i'm also going to be sharing the name of the dating app where tanya found clewin yes so watch this video till the end i know you guys have been coming like bella what is the name of the dating app please watch the video till the end i always share the names of the sites where this couple meet so friends yes tanya found love on online dating apps but it is going to be very good for us it is so helpful for us to know what was tanya's past relationship love experience like is it only you that went through lots of challenges before you find the one <laughs> Oh, Tanya too went through a lot of challenges before joining online dating apps. Was she in a relationship with a Kenyan man? <laughs> My Kenyan brothers, you just forgive me. I am here for the real talk. <laughs> I have to give the experience of these ladies guys because <laughs> this is the real talk so was tanya in a relationship with a kenyan guy or she was dating a nigerian guy <laughs> whom was she dating and how did it go how was it like let's find out guys tanya tells us that her love life started when she was at the university met a kenyan guy and because tanya was pursuing her diploma this guy the boyfriend was pursuing bachelor so they were in love she told us there were a couple goals <laughs> you can imagine guys everything was very very good until tanya graduated before this boyfriend and after graduating that's when this guy started cheating on tanya she could get the news 
from her friends who were still at the university they could tell her everything that this guy is cheating on you with other girls at the campus so when tanya heard that she couldn't take it anymore and ended that relationship this reminds me the days when we were in the high school <laughs> Or someone who never wanted to date in high school because I had my own boyfriend outside. <laughs> Whenever we could see these couples in high school, some of my friends could be like, that's a wastage of time because after ending school, the guy will go his own way and the girl own way. So that relationship won't be there anymore after school. So there is no need to be in a relationship with a guy who is here <laughs> in school. So me hearing such kind of experience from Tanya reminds me of that. But guys, I know that are couples who met at the university and got married they are happily happily married growing old together but for tanya too bad that relationship ended because the guy was a womanizer so after that relationship ended some months after tanya started another relationship with another kenyan guy and this guy was very loving very caring the only problem this guy was an atheist someone who never believed in god tanya says that she respects everyone's opinion towards religion towards their beliefs but this guy used to mock god so much to an extent it bothered tanya and when she tried to talk to this guy, that is when the problems started. This guy started insulting her. This guy started abusing her, treating her very, very bad. But Tanya couldn't leave that guy because Tanya wanted to play a perfect daughter and a perfect sister because her siblings knew that guy and she wanted to be a very good example to her siblings because Tanya is the eldest in their family. They were born four girls here. Yeah. So she continued suffering in that toxic relationship just because she was so scared to let down her mother. She was so scared to let down her sisters. But her mother noticed that the guy was treating bad Tanya and advised Tanya that I think you should end this relationship because you guys are better apart you know sometimes our mothers are always right we should always listen to them but Tanya continued the relationship also she has a sister that she shares everything to her she is her friend she tells her her failures she tells her her success she also shared this with her younger sister and the younger sister was very very concerned about the whole situation because this guy changed Tanya in a negative way whereby Tanya felt very ugly could not love herself and she was voiceless I've been telling you guys if you are in a toxic relationship better end it because the more you stay in that toxic relationship the harder to get out of it and the more it ruins your life so please if you're here watching this story i will take this chance to advise you if you are in a toxic relationship please this is for your own good get out of it so tanya continued to tolerate all these insults and the abuses from this guy and in the end she couldn't take it anymore decided to end that relationship tanya but tells us that after ending that toxic relationship decided to take a break about dating <laughs> you know the first relationship failed the second one failed and she was like i'm going to concentrate on me on my self-esteem because remember her self-esteem was low due to that toxic relationship she ended so she wanted to work on her self-esteem and she started taking care of herself loving herself and concentrated also on work so when you get out of a toxic relationship another tip don't jump into a relationship immediately no guys you need to calm down sit down and think why that relationship failed where did you go wrong because guys i told you 
when a relationship fails it's not only the guy's fault no even the lady has got her own fault even if you ignore the red flags that's your fault <laughs> yeah so you need to sit down and think where did i go wrong not just jump into the next relationship without thinking very well what was the problem so when you sit down you know where you went wrong you'll be able to get into a new relationship with a healthy mind and you would have learned your lesson that is when guys you know how to choose the right man and find yourself in the right hands because you know what you went through and you won't make same mistakes because you give yourself time to know where you went wrong. So friends, as Tanya was on a break, she used to watch YouTube videos from interracial couples. She tells us that honestly, she knows almost all interracial couples on YouTube. <laughs> Because she used to admire those interracial couples. But deep inside her heart, used to think that white men are only interested in dark skinned black African women. And Tanya is light skinned, <laughs> also not slim, not skinny. <laughs> so she used to tell herself that I think I have small chances <laughs> of being liked by a white man. But she used to watch interracial couples and admire them very very much and as she was on youtube then came across my channel guys <laughs> yeah after watching one of my videos she got inspired and decided to join online dating apps so that is when tanya's journey of online dating apps started and this was last year 2021 so join different dating apps started chatting with men from all over the world but she tells us that she faced lots of challenges and because it was her first time to be on online dating apps she got discouraged after one month she deleted all the dating apps and she was like no this is not for me i am going to wait for god's time <laughs> this is the exact thing i've been telling you guys that don't lose hope don't rush to delete a dating app <laughs> but too bad tanya deleted the dating app so friends after deleting the dating apps she took a break of one month while she was on a break she kept on thinking about the dating apps what if i stayed maybe i could have found the one and that is when guys she kept on watching my videos she got inspired and was like no i am coming back to the dating apps so she installed again the dating apps and started chatting with men again from different countries and one day she was on that dating app that i'm going to be sharing with you before i end this video so watch the video till the end <laughs> got a message from a german guy this guy's message was very very good like i've been telling you men who are serious when they start their conversation they always talk of normal things please don't go for guys who always promise you the world promise to marry you tell you i love you before they know you go for men who talk of normal things when you see a guy has introduced himself very well without exaggerating a lot you know that that guy might be the one so this in a very decent way told her that i am searching for true love and if i find the right woman it will be forever so guys that caught tanya's attention and started chatting with this german guy that i've told you his name is clewin so dear friends clewin was very very open from the start of their relationship told tanya about his life also told her that he has got a daughter that he raised by himself because he divorced from the first wife and told her all that happened about the first wife why they divorced you see guys this guy is a honest guy why am i saying he is a honest guy guys who wants to play games on online dating apps they don't always want to talk about their exes when you ask that question they will tell you it's very sensitive they will tell you i cannot talk about it if it is something of the past you have moved on why can't you talk about it <laughs> 
why even if it hurts you but the lady that you're going to start a relationship with if she is asking it means she wants to know what went wrong and guys i told you it is so good to ask what went wrong why he divorced the first wife you can't ask that the first time you start chatting with a guy if the guy doesn't tell you about it but as you go it is important for you to ask what happened in the past with the first wife if that guy divorced the first wife it will help you to know what was the problem it will help you to know where you stand if you have the same same things that made the first wife to be divorced then you know this guy is not for me yes so that is why it is important for you to ask Clewin was very open to Tanya told her everything guys told her everything that happened with the first wife whereby he also got frustrated due to that experience gave up on love until he saw a friend of his who got married to an african lady and they recommended clewin to join dating world so that he can find true love so he joined and that is when he met Tanya. So guys, they kept on chatting, but Tanya tells us <laughs> as they were chatting, they never told each other I love you. The impression that Tanya got is that maybe Clewin wanted only a friend. <laughs> because <laughs> they are only talking of normal things the weather how is life in kenya and she could ask how is life in germany you know that kind of a talk and it continued like that for one month that was 2021 august <laughs> Till 2021 September, that is when Clewin told Tanya that I have feelings for you. I would like you to be my girlfriend. <laughs> Tanya was very happy because she was hoping for that. She was on online dating apps to search for love, not to search for friendship. <laughs> so she was like, oh yes, this is it. She said yes and they officially started dating. I want to add a tip here guys if you are on online dating apps you are chatting to a guy please please try to understand where your relationship stands i've been telling you ask questions last time i was helping a lady she told me she's been chatting with a guy for one year on online dating apps never exchanged phone numbers so i told this lady what are you waiting for ask for the phone number ask this guy get to know what this guy thinks about your relationship because if you're not going to exchange phone numbers how are you going to confirm that the guy is alone the guy is single he lives alone the guy works <laughs> know about his life how are you going to know how are you going to know that this guy you're chatting to is real if you don't talk on a video call and see each other then she was like bella i'm scared maybe he will think i am desperate i was like no no <laughs> he won't think you are desperate this is about you so that you don't keep on wasting your time so i am advising you ladies if you're chatting to a guy give this guy maximum a month <laughs> to understand where your relationship stands and when it comes about meeting give him three months if this guy is not talking about meeting you please end that relationship we can see clewin yes he was taking things slow but after a month he told tanya that i want you to be my girlfriend because the reason why clewin was on a dating app it is not to look for friendship he was on the same page with tanya who was also looking for true love so please guys save your time on online dating apps and always keep your original plan to be on online dating apps so guys before i continue i want to take some water take what you have in your hands <laughs> that is keeping you company so guys at the time tanya was chatting with clewin she was unemployed and the reason why she was unemployed is because the company she used to work for it was a money lending company went bankrupt and she lost her job so as they continued chatting with clewin clewin started asking tanya about her life and because tanya never wanted to lie to clewin the truth about her life so guys tanya tells us that her mother is a single mother she doesn't have a father 
father died in the post elections protest in 2007. So the mother is the one who has been taking care of these four girls alone guys. She is such a strong mother. I've been always saying that single mothers you are strong and may God keep on giving you the energy to keep moving to take care of your kids because it is not easy to be a single mother but another thing that is very sad she told me that bella i am from the slums it's not a crime to come from the slums guys some are rich some are middle some are very very poor but tanya's mother is such a strong mother who kept on fighting to take care of these four girls but it wasn't easy and when Clewin asked Tanya about her life she told him the truth that I am from the slums my mother is a single mother it's not easy at all Tanya told Clewin about her life don't get me wrong and be like she asked money no she told the truth and only about her life situation after clearing hearing about all that about tanya's life felt very very sorry for tanya and told tanya that i would really like to help please think of a business that you can do so that it can help you and your family this guy is very very kind guys but also as i was talking to tanya she told me bella clewin is very kind but also understood my situation because he was raised by a single mother too so he understands the struggles of a single mother to raise kids on her own and that is why i told you guys when you ask God to give a man who is perfect for you, a man who will suit your situation, this is an example. Clewin came into Tanya's life because God knew he was perfect for her situation. Yes, guys. So friends, when Clewin asked Tanya about the business idea that Tanya wants to do so that she can get out of that unemployment situation and help her family, she came up with the shop idea. And Clewin accepted what he did. He sent money for the rent of the shop, sent money to buy for a big fridge for that shop, sent money to buy for the stock, for the shop this guy is a keeper guys because he is too kind never judge the tanya because of her situation some men when they ask you about your life you tell them about your life it's not that you're asking money or you want their money they start judging you immediately i've been hearing ladies who are working in the gulf countries as housemaids complaining that men are looking down on them whenever they tell them that i am working as a maid they disappear dear beautiful lady that guy that is disappearing because you have told him that you are a maid in the Gulf countries is not serious because a guy who loves you a guy who is interested in you will never judge you because you are a housemaid will never judge you because you are a single mother will never judge you because you are from a poor family never so we also learn this and tanya tells us that the shop has been helping them very very much may god bless clewin because he is such a kind guy so guys now we know that clewin opened the shop for Tanya to help her family and help her have a job or have something to do. But I also asked Tanya, was this guy spoiling you? Even after opening that shop, was he spoiling you in any way? She told me, yes, Bella, this man has been sending me my monthly data. He sends me money to buy for food at home. He sends me money for my saloon, for me to go to the saloon. But to remind you guys, I don't want you to start judging. Tanya tells us that she never asked money from Clewin. It's just because Clewin is a responsible guy and he has known her situation. That is why he is helping. She also told me that on her mother's birthday, he sent money to buy her mother a gift. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, real men still exist. 
kind men still exist out there on online dating apps so don't lose hope i'm telling you these stories to be inspired to keep on moving and guys before i forget one of the challenges that tanya has been facing or she faced right from the start of their communication <laughs> is language barrier I've remembered about this because I've been chatting with ladies who say that I'm getting a message from a guy, but we don't understand each other. Guys, Google Translator exists to help you. So don't lose a genuine guy just because of language barrier. Because Clarin too didn't speak English that very, very well. So they could depend on Google Translator. I hope this helps you. <laughs> or if you had a question like that, I hope I have answered you. Please don't let a good guy go just because of language barrier. Try your best, use Google Translator, and with time you will learn his language and he will learn your language. So Tanya and Clewin kept on communicating every day. I also asked her if there are some times Clewin disappeared. She told me, no, I have never experienced that. So guys, I will keep on insisting. If a guy is disappearing, a guy you're chatting to, sometimes he disappears online. That's a red flag. You know that that guy is hiding something from you. You need to find out what it is. Because all these stories that I've been sharing with you, the success stories, all ladies say that these men that they were chatting on online dating apps never disappeared. They always communicate. Because when you are in a long distance relationship, communication is very, very important. They could make video calls. If you want to know if Clewin asked for nude photos, no, she told me, Bella, he has never asked me for nude photos. He has never asked me to send a photo of my goodies. <laughs> never, never asked me to do online sex. And that's a serious guy, serious man. If they want to take their goodies, they will want to see the goodies physically, not on online dating apps. These guys that have been telling you, I want to see the photo of your goodies, I want to see your nude photos, they are sick in their mind. And even if you get married to them, they will still, still want to go on online dating apps or those porn apps <laughs> to watch for those videos because that is how they are they are only sick guys it's not that they are normal they're not normal at all so be very very careful don't share any photo of your goodies or any of your nude photos to a guy you meet online dating apps another question that is so important i asked to tanya is if tanya knew anyone close to clewin guys i told you if you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps he tells you he loves you and you consider that guy as your boyfriend you are boyfriend and girlfriend he tells you i want to marry you you have very very good plans together and this guy does not want you to know anyone close to him you know that everything that he is telling you is a lie because when i asked tanya if she knew anyone close to him she told me yes bella i used to talk to his daughter she is such a lovely lady very loving and very kind she also talks to her mother-in-law she told me bella i have her phone numbers we always communicate even if there is language barrier but she tries because she is learning german but talks to her mother-in-law because this guy is honest he has got nothing to hide that is why he introduced people that are so close to him in his life to tanya yes guys so don't take these stupid excuses that this guy on online dating apps give you yes dear beautiful ladies so guys now the meeting which is very very important you can't just be chatting with a guy on online dating apps without talking of when to meet <laughs> so tanya tells us that Clewin started talking about meeting Tanya, but the problem is Clewin did not have a holiday, did not have 
free days because Clewin works. His vacation was supposed to be in August 2022 this year <laughs> so they kept on chatting and because Clewin has never been to africa he was supposed to get enough information so he started the process while keeping on chatting with tanya she tells us that in the period of six months Clewin took six vaccines <laughs> because he wanted to go to africa wanted to go to kenya to meet tanya for the first time so they kept on chatting and he kept on preparing himself for his trip to kenya so that is the reason why they couldn't meet very very soon again i'm on it <laughs> you are chatting to a guy he is not coming to see you but he should tell you the reasons that will convince you at least we know that clewin did not have holidays from work until 2022 august that way you will have no choice than waiting again you are supposed to take the vaccines all six vaccines you can't just take them in one month and travel no you need to take them and wait and then travel so the reasons for him not to go meet tanya soon they are so understandable that is why i'm advising you please please listen to him ask him why he is taking long to come to see you or why is he taking long to invite you and then listen to the response so that you see if it is convincible or if it is not some will give you the responses that will make you be like oh my god i've been wasting my time all this while <laughs> so guys as time went by clewin started preparing himself to go to kenya meet tanya and that is when tanya started getting very worried came to me and was like bella please i need your help my sister i've been dating this guy there is a huge age difference and i'm scared of what people are going to see when he comes to kenya i am very very scared <laughs> <laughs> so when i got her comment i got back to her and i asked her very very important questions tanya how is this guy how does he treat you is he mature in the mind because someone can be old but immature is he respectful does he have everything that you ever dreamed in a man if the answer is yes then my dear sister you don't need to give a damn sh of what other people will think about you because this is about your life this is about you what is very very important is your happiness if he truly loves you he respects you he treats you good he takes care of you he is so kind why should you worry about other people I told her, do not worry of what people will think. Worry about yourself. <laughs> so after talking to her, she was like, oh my God, your advice has really helped me. I'm going to overcome my fear. I'm going to concentrate only on my happiness. And yes, guys, Clewin got his visa to go to Kenya, meet Tanya. Tanya, when got the news, was very, very happy over the moon told the siblings told the mother too oh my god everyone was very happy when they had the news that clewin was going to kenya to meet tanya so guys second august this month 2022 clewin landed at jomo kenyatta's airport and tanya was there with her whole family <laughs> her siblings to pick clewin <laughs> and she told me something that really touched my heart guys my siblings wanted to come pick clewin with me because it was their first time to go to the airport so they wanted to see the airport even i was the first time to see the airport what do we learn from here guys we shouldn't take things for granted the things that you take for granted other people are dreaming to have them i know you who is watching this video maybe you have been to the airport many many times and for you it's just you know a normal thing you take it for granted <laughs> you know this is just an example so we should always count our blessings 
and thankful for the life that we are living. We shouldn't take things for granted, guys. So guys, Clewin was very, very happy to see Tanya and her siblings. They were all happy. Tanya introduced Clewin, you know, in real life that these are my siblings. <laughs> that was a very, very beautiful moment for all of them. So guys, after the airport, they went to Tanya's house. And the reason why they went to Tanya's house is because there was a mistake done when Clewin was booking for the hotel. So the time he landed, wasn't supposed to check in in his hotel. So that is why he went to Tanya's house. So guys, after Clewin arriving at Tanya's house, it was time to open the gifts <laughs> that Clewin brought for Tanya. But guess what guys? It was all the surprise to Tanya because Clewin brought lots of gifts, not only for Tanya, but for all of her siblings. He brought mobile phones for all of them. Tanya's mobile phone that this guy bought for her was more expensive than other phones of her siblings because she is the queen. She is the special one. <laughs> he also brought chocolates, brought clothes, brought shoes, brought lots, lots of things, guys, for this family. I tell you, Clewin is such a kind guy. Even Tanya told us that no one has ever loved her and her family that much. And every day, she thanks God to bring Clewin in her life. And the mother welcomed him very, very well. She tells us that he slept in a separate room. They only shared the living room. This family too is such a kind family. And the next day, they went to the hotel where Clewin had booked for their two weeks vacation. Yes, guys. And do you know what is coming? <laughs> what I'm about to tell you, guess. I know you always ask yourself this question. Did she give her goodies <laughs> when they first met? <laughs> Guys, Tanya did not give her goodies the first night. He slept the separate room in their house. No goodies were shared. <laughs> but when they went to the hotel, she tells us that after a week, that is when she was ready to share her goodies with Clewin because Clewin had waited for that long and he is such a good man, a kind man, a man who loves Tanya for real. That is why she was ready, ready to give her goodies. And she tells us that it went very, very well. She felt the connection, you know, the chemistry between them. <laughs> yes, guys, let me end here. <laughs> <laughs> on the part of the goodies. <laughs> so friends, in their two weeks vacation, Tanya tells us that she was in charge of Clewin's money. Yes, he gave her all the money so that she can be the one to organize where to go, where to eat, what activities to do. This tells us that Clewin trusts Tanya very, very much. And guys, Clewin is so amazing. Do you know that he told Tanya to organize for safari to the national park and told Tanya that we are taking all your family with us for the safari. <laughs> guys, I know you are on online dating apps. You are at the point of giving up because of the guys you've been meeting on online dating apps. They judge you. And when you hear something like this, you're like, wow, some ladies are lucky. Yes, she is lucky, but it's because God answered her prayers. So you too, God will answer your prayers. You will get a man that will love you for who you are. You will get a kind man, just like Clewin, guys because they still exist on online dating apps. So they went for safari together, the whole family. It was all beautiful guys. And all the time they could hug, kiss, you know, enjoy time together. This guy has embraced Tanya's family. And it is such a blessing to find a guy who will embrace your family, a guy who will accept your family and love it 
as it is his own family. So they did lots of activities together. Tanya couldn't stop thanking God for Clewin. She told me, Bella, I am at peace. I am very, very happy. I am so in love. Guys, do you know that love is very beautiful? <laughs> it can make you glow because Tanya's mother right now is telling her, Tanya, you are glowing and you look very lively. It's because she has found true love. And that is why I am praying for you guys to find a man who will make you grow, a man who will make you look lively, just like Tanya. And guys, here comes the surprise. Two days before Clewin returning to Germany, he proposed. Tanya jumped with happiness and cried too, the tears of happiness, because she couldn't believe this was happening. <laughs> oh my God. In front of her siblings and her mother, they went out for dinner to celebrate. Everything was very good. And his vacation came to an end. He returned to Germany. So he returned to Germany on Saturday and as he was talking to Tanya after his arrival, Tanya was like, I love birds. Do you know what this guy did? <laughs> <laughs> on the next Monday, he went and bought two birds, brought them home, took the photo, sent it to Tanya. Also, he went and printed the photos that they took together, Kenya, put them on a frame and put them on the cups. I'm going to show you the photos and sent those photos to Tanya. Tanya was so, so happy. This guy is crazily in love with Tanya, guys. So friends, I understand you want to know. Yes, they met in Kenya. He proposed. Everything went well. But what next, Bella? <laughs> the answer is the next step, Tanya will be going to Germany to see this guy's life and after that get married i promise you again with part two which will be their wedding on this channel so guys just stick here and let us wish tanya and clewin all the best of luck so friends you all know that i cannot share with you a story without asking a person who shared her story to give you an advice, an advice that will help you on online dating apps, on your search. Number one advice from Tanya, she says, love conquers all. We can see they've got a big age difference, but love has conquered all. Yes, they're from different countries, but love has brought them together. So love conquers all, all challenges, everything. <laughs> yeah love yourself because when you love yourself other people will learn to love you and when you love yourself you are happy with yourself you'll be able to love other people very well her fourth advice don't tell lies because if you tell this guy lies and then he comes to visit you in your country the tiniest lie that you told him will turn him off so better be open better tell the truth last last advice from tanya when you find the one pray for your relationship protect your relationship with prayers from evil people so friends here comes our big question where did tanya meet clewin which kind of a dating app they met on f dating i remember three months ago i shared a success story of a tanzanian lady who met a polish guy on f dating then tanya and clewin too met on f dating guys f dating is free last time there was a lady who was telling me bella i'm on f dating they're telling me to pay no you are not supposed to pay because f dating is a hundred percent free dating app try your luck just be patient guys we all know the challenges of online dating apps so if you come across those challenges they shouldn't make you give up but this couple met on f dating dear beautiful friends i really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something comment below what you think about this story watch my other videos too they are super good don't forget to subscribe please join the family <laughs> i'll be so so happy to see you in 
in this family <laughs> yes guys until next time i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao <laughs>